The first generation Tesla Roadster is what got people excited about the future of electric cars and EVs. Now Tesla wants to bring the second generation of the Roadster to the market and it is set to release as early as 2023. The new Tesla Roadster is better with improved performance and styling. It is also set to be the fastest car in the market. Bearing in mind that the Roadster is a sports model from the EV maker, what should we expect from the second generation Tesla Roadster? Stick around and watch the video right till the end to find out. The original Roadster is what made Tesla the EV pioneer that it is today. While most people think it is the Model S that made Tesla really famous, the Roadster was Tesla's first offering, generating excitement about electric cars. Speaking of the second generation Tesla Roadster, known as the Roadster 2.0, this one was supposed to hit the roads in 2021. However, the Roadster was delayed for various reasons, including the global semiconductor shortage. Tesla will have a hard time making the Roadster a reality anytime soon, especially considering the fact that the Roadster 2.0 was announced way back in 2017. When it comes to performance, Elon Musk claims the Roadster 2.0 could do 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 1.9 seconds with a top speed of 250 miles per hour. That's a tall claim by the CEO. The Tesla Model S Plaid does similar figures today, so you can expect the upcoming Roadster to do even better. This could also be one of the many reasons why the Model S Plaid Plus was cancelled. When Tesla starts deliveries for the Roadster, this will be the fastest production car ever to be built, and Tesla is quite proud of it. Now batteries are an important component for any electric vehicle, and the Tesla Roadster is rumored to pack a 200 kilowatt hour battery. It can provide 620 miles of range on a single charge. These numbers look pretty optimistic, and you could achieve 620 miles of range if you're driving it lightly. But if you have a sports car, why would you even try to drive it slow, right? You want to go as fast as possible. As far as the interiors are concerned, we don't know much about the Roadster's interior. The Roadster, in its concept form, features a removable glass panel roof which you can place in the trunk. The Roadster has a seating capacity for four, but the rear seats are comparatively smaller, so only children will be comfortable being at the rear. With every Tesla, you see the designs are extremely minimal, and the Roadster 2.0 will be no different from Tesla's approach to providing a minimalistic interior, and that's carried over to the exterior as well. Just like every other Tesla out there, the Roadster 2.0 will also sport a large touchscreen that extends all the way from the top of the dash to the center console. Like every other Tesla, you shouldn't be expecting Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, or even Amazon Alexa compatibility with the infotainment system. But we think it's perfectly fine, since Tesla's own software that runs these infotainment systems are extremely good, and you won't miss Apple CarPlay or Android Auto when you're in a Tesla. Another feature that's common with every Tesla is the integration of Spotify, Netflix, YouTube, and other video streaming apps so that you have some room for entertainment while you're charging your car and Tesla knows it better than anybody else. When it comes to safety features, you could expect the top-of-the-line safety rating for the Tesla Roadster because that's been the tradition for the company. They produce some of the world's safest cars today. These cars score really high in crash tests, all thanks to the lower center of gravity since the battery packs are placed on the floor of the vehicle. Tesla will also be providing the latest and greatest driver assistance technology with the Roadster just like they provide with every other Tesla model out there. You will have adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, an automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, and you'll also have the autopilot and full self-driving capability for the Roadster 2.0. Speaking of the pricing, the base variant of the Roadster 2.0 will start at $200,000. We also have a limited edition by the name of the Founder Series, and this will be on sale for $250,000. We don't have any information about the difference between both of these models. The only thing we know about the Founder Series is that there will be only 1,000 models ever built. This is more like a collectible version of the Roadster 2.0. It will once again ignite a lot more excitement in the supercar segment. So will the Roadster 2.0 indeed release in late 2023, or will it again be delayed? Also, what are your opinions on the Roadster? Do let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.